Good afternoon friends, I hope you're well. I'm going to teach you how to become a better meme coin trader in this video. By the end of it, if you watch it, you'll be more profitable as a trader. I make anywhere between $200 to $600 per day trading by myself. People say, oh, Kada, you've got inside knowledge and you've got loads of connections. I trade by myself. That's how I prefer it. I prefer to pull up my tools, use them, trade them, and I'm going to talk you through my analysis on coins, which I would or wouldn't buy. And also I'll give you about five tips I want you to follow. If you implement these five tips, there's no way you can actually start losing more money. You will become a better trader. I promise you. When I started doing these, my trading game changed significantly. So the first thing I want you to do is obviously we've got trojan bot this is what i use when i'm trading on deck screener or i'm doing big buys yeah because i like to use it or if i'm holding overnight i use it on trojan uh, i just prefer it like that if i'm trading on pump fund i use bullex i'll link them both in the description you can use whatever you want if you don't want to use any tool don't use dupe so jupiter's exchange if you're manually buying or use pump fund itself that's what i would recommend if you're not using trading tools but we're going to talk about Bullex, and I use Bullex on Pump Fun to trade Pump Fun tokens. Now, there is a trick to trading tokens on here. You one, you must look at the meta. So, this is the first or second tip. You must look at what's bonded, what is doing well. You can also look on here, Deck Screener, to show what's done really well over the last few days. So, five hours, did he make America based? We know there's an election coming, there's Halloween coming, there's a few bullish sentiments floating around. So, tokens that are doing well in that are going to do well. And it seems the color red for the logo seemed to stand out to me. I don't know why, but I think yellow and red triggers the mind. So, that can be something to note if you're launching. Let's go back to Pump Fun. So, on Pump Fun, it's a very, very high chance of getting rugged. 99% of these are going to rug you, yeah? Or you're going to lose money because, you know, it didn't get pushed out. So let's click a random one. Let's look at the chart. The chart will tell you everything. So this is a very good example. I call it the free pump method. So this is the first pump, second pump, third pump. Now is the make or break. How is this going to do? Personally, this is double topped. Is the community active? I don't know. Yeah, it seems pretty active. I'm just reading the comments. Comments do trigger it to come on the featured page. Is there that bump bot running? Yes. Is there buyers coming in? So look at the volume. Volume will tell you everything. So it has good volume. So this is potentially, I would put a limit order here to drop down. This looks good, actually, because it's the third pump. Always remember the third pump. Don't buy if there's no free pumps. If you're buying, then it's too early. You might think, oh, this is going to go up and I get loads of Xs. If you want to actually hit the bonding curve, then no. If you want a quick flip, then yeah. So this is doing well. This has good volume. Look, there's loads of buys every minute. And these are all significant. Buys and sells, of course. But this is good volume. If you find something with volume, it's going to do well. I don't know what Perry is, <laughs> if I'm honest, but you can obviously, I'll have Twitter open and I'll search Perry or I'll Google it just to see uh, on that. So that one looks good. That's actually pretty decent. Now, going back to, you know, if you're not using Pump Fund directly, you can look here. I tend to use filters. So I filter everything above, you know, 8,000, 9,000 market cap because that's usually tokens just die off too soon for me. And I don't care about buying at 5k market cap. I don't want that risk. If you like it, of course, go for it. So what this has done is filtered everything about that. And I want you to pay close attention to how many holders there are. Because too few holders, obviously that's 9k. So that has more 50 something holders and that has 21. It's the same market cap. So let's open them both up and see what the difference is. Because if there's less holders, typically the dev holds most of it or is circulated into one person. Let's analyze and see the charts and see what's different. So when it does that, that's been bundled. So I would definitely avoid that. So they've bundled it to here and they were expecting people to buy and now they're just going to sell off probably. Yeah. And that's why it has a high number of wallets because they've bundled it and spread it out. This one is one, two second pump. So if you want to watch this, you like the name, watch it. If you really want, you can put a limit order. So limit orders is another thing that I've put. I've done significantly well. So you can put a 0 
limit order here. I mean, I wouldn't put a limit order here, but for example, what this does is when you sell, when someone sells, it hits this line, it will automatically buy. So you can buy the dip before anyone else. And likewise, if you want to, if you've brought in here manually, you can do a limit order sell. So you can sell up at 65% profit here. So what that does is if it wicks up quickly, it sells for you quick. And it's probably the thing that has changed my whole uh, trading game. I would say probably, I would say 50% of my revenue comes from limit orders, breaking them, catching them. You can do the same on deck screener as well. But for pump fund, I've made previous videos, look on the channel, uh, deeper analysts into it. The other thing as well, how you can do well as a better trader is when something's bonding, it will say migrating here. You can also find it on pump fund itself. So this did actually break out funny enough uh, because it's it's doing pretty well and this will probably be all over the front page uh, the featured page so we saw it on here as well and that was just a bit of luck but I think that one will probably do well uh, in the long term and it will start to fly up the ranks here once it gets to about 30k it's a good chance if it has good volume and a good community it should bond again going back to here let's say this is bonding chances are when something bonds you can put a limit order to buy because usually they dump it usually look at the other tokens that have bonded and what they've done so let's say for example this one you'd look at quite a few just to see so this one bonded probably around here yeah and it dumped down maybe 20 10 percent 15 percent so putting a limit order there and then obviously it dumped down even more so putting it around 35k is what i would have said uh you would have had a break but 21 mm, i wouldn't have brought that i would have closed the limit order so putting uh something bonding putting it down at okay 31k 30k if it comes in it comes in so it automatically buys and then it obviously reverses from there hopefully but you analyze it and see if it's too much of a dump obviously close your limit order so deck screener is probably one that i make most of my money on pump fund is i put small money i don't do anything more than like 50 dollar buy um on a limit order on something that's bonded i might do a hundred dollars but if i see something that is you know got the meta everything looks good i would obviously do a bigger buy but i tend to be very strict with it and i'll talk about that after so filters wise i tend to go with about 100k so i put 5,000 and i put 100k and what this does, it's going to filter out anything above 100k because I'm looking for a scalp. I'm not looking for something to buy and hold. And what I want to look for, and we'll analyze some stuff here now. And we'll just see. Where was that one we saw before? I want to keep an eye on it. Was it Mort? No. Oh, is this one, I think. Let me just get it quickly. Is that cat one? I'm sure. No, anyway, I can't find it. Sorry. So what we've got is tokens that are under 100K because they've got the potential of Xs or at least some profits. Now, I do probably a minimum half a soul to two Solana, one Solana buy. It's usually one Solana. And what I want to do is I want to make 20% of my money. So if I don't see potential of making 20% very quickly, I won't buy it that's my trading strategy and i use limit orders like i said before and what i'm going to do is we're going to open some of these up we'll open the top five maybe and we'll see what's happening some of it most of these are under a day old let's have a look at this so what first thing i do is i look at the data i have in front of me then i look at the chart this one has just been dropping since it's a community takeover. I mean, it launched this morning and, you know, that seems probably where the community takeover was. You know, in 10 minutes, they got together a community takeover. I don't believe it. Uh, these are fake ones. Very low liquidity. Um, actually, the market cap is it's not bad at liquidity. I thought it was like 100K. This looks terrible unless I'm missing something. Liquidity is locked. I always check the liquidity, but volume was incredible. 
Uh, it's trending 11, but is it going to drop off? So unless it's going up the trending list, don't buy it. If you think, oh, it's trending, that's great. But this will fall off the trending list soon. And now you want to look what's going to take its place. That's what you need to find, what's coming up the ranks in terms of um, trending. So you can have a look at that anyway. So this one, this one's a no-no. I wouldn't definitely buy. This one, I'm not sure. Why is that? Where well, I need to look this up. What's this FTSE 2000? Where's that come from? What's the potential of this this theme? Is what I'm going to look at. They've put a 10 boost, which ain't too bad. Good volume. Uh, I wouldn't buy it this entry. I probably would put a limit order down here, maybe, uh, to see. But again, is it moving? Probably not. What's the liquidity like? Not bad. So I don't really like it personally, but... I, I I only buy things I like really. This one, I don't know. They've got some volume bot on it. Forty six k. They've got ads running, which is good. Um, let's have a look at this ad. Why not? <laughs> Run. So these are the stupid ones that do well. Uh, this looks really good actually. To have a pump like that and no one's really selling off is good. That's a bullish sign. So it will eventually retrace to wherever. But it seems to be doing okay. It could be from the ads. 1.7 million volume. Trending 5. So this one doesn't look too bad. But it's a bit high. And it's a bit of a crazy entry. I would look to buy around 120. This is something you can watch. Keep an eye on. And if you are trading throughout the day. You're going to have that. Sock. Sock looks like it's finished mate. These are chances looking to buy. And you know 50k. Probably fat liquidity if it's pump fund. Yeah, I wouldn't look to buy that. Unless it's something significant, which I ain't got time to research or look into it. Who knows? Sis. Sis the dog. It looks like a failed little thing. Are you going to get money from this? It's had its run-up. And look how, they, look how they treated the run-up. Dreadful community. So I wouldn't definitely look at that. I don't care if this goes up. It's not something I would look at. And if you go back to it, this one I can already tell looks okay. I oh, know this is the rubbish one we didn't like. I say it looks okay because I'm a sucker for these these type of tokens. Flying cheese puff dog. Mitt. So I'm looking at the no, detective Mo Roger. Roger. A lot of it is just scouting now. If I watched, if I sat over your shoulder and watched you, probably you would have bought about 20 coins now. I haven't seen anything that I think is good. Potentially this one. Depending on, I mean, how can you have a million volume? And be sitting at 45k market cap. I know they use volume bots, but that's like, they've sold everything off. The graphics are crap. But... This one looks okay, I'll tell you why. Cup and handle. Yeah, it broke out. It's retraced too much, more than the buy. And now it's on an uptrend. So this, I would buy here, actually. That I wouldn't be afraid, one Solana into here. I would buy. So that would be the only one I'll buy. <laughs> Look at this cat. Let's buy it, in fact. Oh, someone else brought for me. So that's not that's not going to really put me off. But let's see how this does. If it didn't even go through. Transactions pending. I don't know what's happening with that. Anyway, this one's rugged. Not a good look. But all in all, um, potentially this this could do okay. And I was glad I didn't buy actually. But the buy didn't go through. But I would still buy. I would, I would, I would watch and see if it dumps even more on him buy. Uh, if I can ideally get in uh, a good entry, this could be good. Because potentially the volume's there. Uh, I'll join the community and check. So there's, I've only seen one that I've actually just have have there's potential there and if you go back to here there'll be something new on here 
popping up bear in mind it's a quiet time now when i mentioned how much i would buy is i tend to only buy one solana half a solana stuff like that and the reason being is you must be strict with yourself if you've got a certain amount of funds available if you've got one solana you want to do 10 trades and try and get a 10x somewhere for in order for you to break even so you need to be strict with yourself you need to say to yourself okay i'm only going to spend 0 0.5 every day that's my budget if you say look oh, i've got six solana i'm going to blow it all that's how you lose the number one way you win at trading is mathematical you have to you know you're going to lose on most trades but you have to find those ones if you can bring your ratio down to the level of okay um I'm glad I didn't buy this. I hope it didn't go through. <laughs> so this this is, you know, I said 35k. That could potentially be my my buy. Let's buy here. God. Oh, everyone's beating me to it. This is why I should have had, I don't have any funds in my box. So again, this potentially could be a quick flip. Remember I said I want 20%. And I don't know if anyone's going to be watching this at this stage, but it's good to see. So I'm looking for a quick flip. If someone buys $400, I'm probably going to sell uh, in that. And where does it show what it's worth? So I'm down a bit, <laughs> down 0 0.5. But this might be a hold for a bit. I'm not obviously going to record it. But in theory, this could be one that could, you know, double your money in a short space of time. And sometimes I'm wrong. If look, if it drops even more, I'm going to sell it because I ain't looking to hold some random coin. I'm a scalper. I'm looking for things to scalp. So I hope this video has been of help. I hope it has helped. Any questions, drop a comment below. Join the communities. We all make money together and I'd love to have you on board. All the best. Take care.